Secret number 36. Trust the perfection in imperfection. Michelangelo said, the true work of art is but a shadow of the divine perfection. One concept that has been especially helpful to me on my journey of spiritual happiness is the idea that everything is always perfect. That this whole universe is perfect in a profoundly ultimate sense. One Hindi poem says that not even a leaf moves without God's will. Another poet declared that God can even hear the footsteps of an ant. Imagine that. The idea behind these images is that God is all perfect and all knowing and that this universe is God's creation. The awareness of universal perfection within the appearance of imperfection is a magical key to faith and faith is a magical key to spiritual happiness. It is easy to accept that anything that has taken form in this world is inherently imperfect, including people and institutions. This is obvious from watching the doings of everyone from large corporations to world politicians to celebrities to just about every kind of person who has lived on this earth. Imperfection is quite obvious in this world. However, what allows us to be spiritually happy, even in the face of worldly imperfection, is to open our eyes, minds, and hearts to discerning and accepting the idea of universal perfection. A vision of universal perfection allows us to relax into the deepest levels of our spiritual selves. Just watch nature taking her disciplined courses of events with seasons arising and subsiding with great steadiness, aside from a few ice ages and a bit of global warming here and there. With our newest telescopes, we can see galaxies and universes being created and destroyed in grand dances of massive beauty. On this magnificent planet Earth, oceans stay in their place, mountains remain firm, and animals of every species are born equipped with just the right instinctual knowledge to take care of themselves and their young. These are just a few hints of what universal perfection looks like in action. On one hand, we must accept the imperfection of this world. This is important because it keeps us from having unrealistic expectations that would become broken again and again, thus bringing unhappiness. With an acceptance of the imperfect nature of this world, we can actually attain more peace, contentment, and happiness because we are no longer having our expectations broken and disappointed at every turn. At the same time, we can trust in an ultimate perfection beyond the grasp of the limited structures and abilities of our minds. We can trust that in some way, this entire creation simply must be perfect even if it doesn't always appear so to our limited minds. This trust is a porthole into a different kind of knowing that brings faith, optimism, and hope to support and maintain our spiritual happiness. Eventually, steeped in the vision of universal perfection, we swim in the faith and trust that everything in every moment is absolutely perfect, destined, and meant to be. Even while making efforts in the world, we rest in knowing that only the great universal power acts through us. No blame, no shame, 
no gain, no pain, just universal perfection dancing in front of us, around us, and inside of us as us. It's not that everything has to always look perfect for us to choose to trust this perfection. Nor does it mean we wouldn't continue to make efforts to improve ourselves. The awareness of perfection and imperfection is an inner knowing, an inner trust, and a soothing place of inner rest. We all know this perfection deep inside because we are all one with the universal flow of perfection deep inside. It is like a thread, and we are all like beads on that one thread. Everything in this whole magnificent universe, from the tiniest revolving electrons to massive exploding galaxies, is strung on this thread of universal perfection. When you know that you too are an integral element of this amazing dance of universal perfection, then spiritual happiness is in your hand, and you are in the hand of spiritual happiness. <laughs>